Coming up on Fox 44, a day before we remember the tragedy of 9-11, we speak to survivors living right here in Central Texas. And Bellmead police say they've made an arrest after a custody exchange turns into gun battle. Also, a new website has been created to track COVID cases in schools and allow users to report unsafe work conditions in Texas classrooms. Covering Waco, Colleen, and Temple, this is Fox 44 News at 5. Good evening and thank you for joining us on Fox 44 News at 5. I'm Kendall Green. Adam Hooper has the night off. Tomorrow marks 19 years since the September 11th attacks. On that day, terrorists killed nearly 3,000 Americans by flying planes into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and a field in Pennsylvania. Fox 44 Shaquille Omari is live in the studio after speaking with one man who helped many people during the attack and now lives in Waco. Shaquille. Kendall Hector Castro spent 20 years as an Army veteran, but as a young man, he started working as a volunteer EMT in Queens, New York to gain experience. And on September 11, 2001, he recalls the attack being one of the most horrific moments of his life. It was like, I would say, the worst thing that I've ever seen. Hector Castro vividly remembers September 11, 2001. Hearing the screams for help, and it was coming from all directions. Castro worked as a volunteer EMT in Queens, New York. On his day off, he turned on the TV. 110 stories high, no word yet of any injuries or deaths, but... And witnessed heavy smoke coming from one of the towers. I thought it was just a movie or something on TV. Minutes later, he received a call from his unit ordering him to report to the towers. A moment that changed his life. Being a first responder, my thought was that I could do anything when it comes to helping people out and saving lives. 9-11 was a wake-up call. Emergency crews rushed to save those stuck in the rubble. We went into like rescue mode, I'll call it that, and just started grabbing people and pulling them out. The 54-year-old says then a plane hit the second tower triggering more falling debris. That's when a firefighter pushed him inside a firehouse to safety. I would love to see that firefighter again. And I wanted to thank him for saving my life. But uh, it's been several years that I'd be thinking is why all those people that had died and as close as I was, how come I'm not with them? As September 11th memorials air on TV, they bring up mixed emotions for Castro. Sometimes I try to avoid those memories, so I really haven't been watching it since I left New York. But the Army veteran pays his respect in other ways with this makeshift Twin Tower replica outside his home. My work, my tribute, to the people that died in 9-11. He's now grateful for his life. I had people tell me it was God's will. God has a purpose. Okay? And if you're still here, it's because it's a purpose. There's a reason why I'm still here. Castro says he suffers from PTSD and sometimes forgets events that happened on September 11th. He now receives treatment at, through the VA hospital. For now, live in the studio, Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News. Touch and short story, Shaq. Thank you. Tomorrow, the Young Conservatives of Texas chapter of the University of Baylor, Mary Hardin Baylor, will be setting up a flag memorial in honor of 9-11. The group will be planting nearly 3,000 flags on campus, a flag for every life lost on the tragic day in 2001. The memorial will be at the Luther Memorial on campus and will be up all day. And nationwide, Wreaths Across America is calling for Americans to stand outside and wave their flags on the anniversary. Americans are called to wave their flags for one minute at 846, 903, 937, and 1003, the times of when those four planes crashed. Participants are encouraged to take the video and, vid and pictures of them participating in the national flag waving and share them with their reefs across America, their families, and their friends using the hashtags flags across the country and America strong. Midway ISD emailing parents letting them know three more high school students have tested positive. The parents of students who have been in close contact with the in infected individuals will be notified. 
McLennan County adding 109 cases to the total count today. There are now nearly 7,000 confirmed cases in the county with about 540 active cases. Bell County reporting 13 new cases. The county inching closer to the 5,000 cases mark. Over 4,500 residents have recovered. There are currently 257 active coronavirus cases in the Baylor community. In the last seven days, 1,600 tests have been administered, making Baylor's positivity rate 4.6% since August 1st. Baylor has had over 900 positive cases. In our crime report, a 21-year-old has been arrested in connection with the shooting that happened during the, what was supposed to be a child custody exchange in Bell Mead. Now, Jaquan Davis was arrested on two counts of aggravated assault and one count of deadly conduct. Police say on the morning of September 3rd, Davis fired a shot outside a home on Lisa Drive. The child was injured during the shooting, and police say two young men tried to disarm Davis, who they believe was targeting the boyfriend of the mother of the child. During the struggle, a 17-year-old was shot, and the other was burned by a muzzle. None of those injuries were considered life-threatening. A former Bell County jailer is under investigation for allegedly having an improper relationship with an inmate. The Sheriff's Department says allegations surfaced recently prompting the investigation. No word yet on identities or genders of those individuals. According to the press release, the Sheriff's Department takes these allegations seriously, adding using an outside agency to investigate will ensure complete transparency. Straight ahead on Fox 44, a new website has been created to track COVID cases in schools and allow users to report unsafe conditions in Texas classrooms. It has been a cloudy, very cool day. Temperatures today only in the 60s, but it does get a little bit warmer as we approach the weekend. We'll talk about.